Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 124, beginning in verse 6. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. God commands his people, Christians, to love their enemies, not to fight them, not to kill them, to love them, to be kind to them. Now, normally, a command like that would leave us completely defenseless. But it's not a problem because God does not give us as prey to their teeth. In other words, he defends us as we are good to those who hate us. Our job is to obey the word of God. Our job is to be good, to be kind, and to take the lumps that may be allowed by God to come to come our way. But ultimately, remember that God has the wicked on a leash And they will do nothing to you that he does not allow. And if he allows it, it's for a good purpose. He's going to use it. Like he used the cross, which was the most evil thing that anyone ever did to anyone else. When you consider the holiness and purity of the Son of God. And what did God do? He allowed it to happen. But he used it for good, to bring about the salvation of many people. Verse 7. Our soul is escaped like a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. In other words, sometimes it's a close call. God may let trouble go on for a long time but never too long. When it gets to the point where it can do spiritual damage, he steps in and stops it. When it gets to the point where he can no longer use it to bring about good, then he will stop it. He rescues us like a bird that has been caught in a trap and is about to have its head chopped off. God is always there in the nick of time. Eight. <clears throat> Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And that's why Christians and Christianity survives. And that's why individual Christians can't lose if they don't quit. You see, the God who keeps us is the powerful almighty God who created everything. No wonder those who have sworn to wipe out the Bible and Christianity, wipe it off the face of the earth, always eventually die after failing in their efforts. So a lot of people have boasted, we're going to stamp out Christianity. We're going to eliminate the word of God and we're going to eliminate all this talk about Jesus. And the same thing happens every time. They eventually die and go to hell. And guess what? The word of God continues to prosper and true Christians continue to multiply. A minority? Yeah, always been a minority. Nevertheless, we're here because the gates of hell will not prevail against us, said Jesus. Now, you can study all of the word of God with me using my audio Bible messages at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. If you'd like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word, and click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. Prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.